Welcome to the Grade Scale video tutorial. In this video, we will guide you through configuring your school wide grade scales for consistent and accurate school wide grading standards. Let's jump in. First, you will click on your Classes tab. Next, click on the gear icon next to the drop down box that says Grade Scales. This will take you to a page where you can define the grade scale options that appear to you in the drop-down box on the Classes page. On this page, you will see any existing grade scales in the box in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Let's take a closer look. One of the default grade scales you will see in your school is called Alternative Grades. These are alternatives to the student's overall grade in the class. If a student receives an alternative grade for the class, that alternative grade will not factor into the student's GPA, and they will not receive credit for the class. Most typically, alternative grades are grades like withdrawn, incomplete, or excused. Usually, these grades are for students who need to leave the school early. Click the title to get more information about the alternative grades available to you. You can add in any additional grade codes you would like, or modify existing grade codes. When the teachers do their grading, they can double-click a student's final grade to enter an alternative grade. Administrators can also add alternative grades to students, and this is covered in a video on modifying transcripts. Now, Let's talk about assignment grade codes. When teachers do their gradings, they have assignment grade codes available to them in their grade sheet. Typically, assignment grade codes are for marking assignments as incomplete or excused. Here is where you can configure these codes so they can be standardized across your school. Teachers will only have assignment grade code options that you configure here for them to use while doing their grading. To make changes, simply highlight one of the assignment grade codes from your list on the right. Or click the Cancel button to add in a new assignment grade code. Type in the grade symbol, type the grade description. Whatever you enter in these boxes will appear as a legend to the parent on the parent interface so they can interpret any alternative grade codes their child may have received on an assignment. Grade order just means the order that it will display in the drop-down box for teachers. Then, with each code, you have the option of designating if the code will lower the student's grade or not. Adding a zero in the percentage grade will lower the student's grade, because they will receive zero points for that particular assignment. If you check exclude from grade calculation, the assignment will not be factored into the student's overall grade. The standard grade scale is also a default grade scale available in your school. This is the default scale used when creating a new class. If you click the title to highlight it, you will see more information available to you. Highlight a particular grade to see the percentage range and the GPA value. If the grade order is set to 1, that indicates that it is the highest grade available in the grade scale. A grade order of 2 means it's the second highest and so forth. In the lowest percent, indicate the low end of the percentage range associated to that grade. Keep in mind that you will want to set this a half a percent below if you want to allow rounding up on assignments and up on the overall grade of the class. If a teacher enters in a letter grade in their gradebook and does not put in a percentage grade, then GradeLink will convert that letter grade into whatever percentage grade you designate in this box. So if a teacher enters in a B, GradeLink will convert that B to an 85% when making its calculations in the grade sheet. 
There's no right or wrong answer to put in the box, just as long as it falls somewhere within the percentage range for a B. Lastly, indicate the GPA value associated with the grade. Be sure to go through each of the grades within the standard grade scale and make any necessary adjustments to reflect your school-wide grading standards. If you would like to make use of our deficiency reports, this is the place where you can designate what qualifies as a deficient grade in your school. If you have honors classes and need students to receive a boost in their GPA for taking these classes, you can use the honors grade scale. Rather than modifying the GPA value on every single line listed below, you can use the box next to GPA boost. Then, just type in how much of a boost the honor scale receives, and GradeLink will automatically adjust the student's GPA to reflect the GPA value plus the amount of the GPA boost. In this case, an A is a 5.0 because the GPA value is 4 and the boost is 1. I can even create a different grade scale for kindergarten classes if appropriate. Then fill in the title, click Add, and fill in all the boxes as you did before. If kindergartners don't receive a percentage grade in your school, you will still need to fill in a percentage value in the box next to lowest percentage grade. But don't worry, you don't need to show percentage grade to the parents if it's not applicable. Just uncheck Show Percentage Grade to hide the percentage grade from every place a parent would normally see a percentage grade such as the parent login, progress report, report card, and transcript. Also, if kindergartners do not use GPA, then uncheck the box at the top that says Calculate GPA. This will remove this grade scale from, from GPA calculations, and any class that uses this grade scale will therefore not be included in GPA. Now that you have created your grade scales, you will have more options available to you on the Classes page when you select the grade scale for each class. Make sure you make any changes to your grade scales before teachers start putting in grades for the year. Good luck and happy grading!